Hello, my name is Scott Wynn, and my Art in a Day video brings me to Fort Worth, Texas at the uh, Kimball Art Museum uh, to view Crucifixion by El Greco. Um, unfortunately, when I arrived there, I was informed I was not allowed to uh, record this artwork due to the fact that um, it wasn't a part of their permanent collection. So in order to do this video, I will have to improvise, and I hope you guys like it. Thank you. To start off, I want to tell a little bit about El Greco. El Greco was born in Crete in 1541 and died on April 7, 1614 in Spain. Among being a painter, he was also a sculptor and an architect. The name El Greco, which was not his real name, but a nickname meaning the Greek, was to represent his origin. Now on to his painting, Crucifixion. It was believed that this was painted around 1570. It is oil on canvas. Many of El Greco's paintings were in an exaggerated mannerism, being that his paintings showed elongated bodies and tortured anatomies. An example of one of his portraits showing elongated bodies is the portrait of Dr. Rodrigo de la Fuente, which I have here. Now, if you look at this portrait, um, you can tell from the get-go that his to to upper torso is extremely long, compared to um, what a normal person would look like um, or what we're used to a normal person would look like. Um, also his head seems to be a little stretched out and um, you can tell that his arms are pretty long and also his hands, the size of his hands because they're propped up on this book. Okay enough of that and back to crucifixion. Um, when I first saw this painting at the Kimball Art Museum, um, this was by far the smallest uh, painting that they had there. Um, but to me it struck me the most because um, how the background, which is, you can see clouds here, dark gloomy clouds rolling in the background, pretty much a uh, covering the the blue sky and um, you can see this yellow bolt of lightning right here which to me adds drama to the um, the portrait because as you can tell here it lights up Christ's body which is hanging on the cross here um, now whenever that's brought into to the foreground you see that El Greco did a good job of painting detail. Um, as you can tell here, that Christ's body is nailed onto the cross. And his arms, you can see the muscle and tendons which are, you know, struggling to hold up the weight of his upper body. And as you work your way down his upper body, you can see that there's you know great amount of detail into his uh, upper torso you can tell that you know he's hasn't eaten anything because um, you can see and pretty much count many of his ribs you know, and on top of being able to count many of his ribs you can tell that you know his body looks you know life or his body looks pretty much dead with the um, the fact that he's probably been there for a long period of time. Um, and here in the background you see kind of silhouettes of a, I guess that would be a town in the background. Um, and other than that there's really nothing here in the foreground besides the cross and Christ which is the centerpiece of this artwork. And to the reason why I picked this art from all um, Christian mannerism painting, because this painting has more meaning to me by the fact that um, looking at this, that you know God sacrificed His only Son for the sin of mankind, and the background plays a major role in why why I chose this because the clouds and lightning um, made it seem as if God was lashing out that He sacrificed His Son for the better of mankind which to me, you know, uh, 
grateful for for having life and grateful for for being here today and um, that's pretty much sums up my art in a day video I hope that you enjoyed my improvised um, video and thank you for watching